perfect way to do a range test. Follow a gas sipping Prius. So a late summer range test in 2020 Bolt EV. Could we get to 300 miles? Could we get way past 300 miles? And how does it compare to our experiences trying to get to 300 in the 2017 Bolt EV? That's all the video is looking at today and we'll dive right in. Okay, so we're at the halfway point in that sweet spot of temperatures between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit mostly this week. Not quite there according to the energy used. That should be 33 kilowatt hours for a uh, 66 kilowatt hour pack, but the app believes we're at 49%. But uh, as you can see, discrepancy there between 134 miles on the app and 130. Seven on the GOM here. So we've been trending up a little bit, 4.8, 4.9 miles per kilowatt hour recently. Only thing I would say is that it seems to be harder to kind of maintain that five miles per kilowatt hour than we experienced in our 2017 Bolt EV. That was pretty simple doing these local routes, just driving uh, under 40, 45 miles an hour. Maybe we've had more cooling than we would have used at that point, I don't know, but uh, either way, 2% isn't a whole lot of that energy used, and it seems to be a little bit tougher to maintain this 5 miles per kilowatt hour or above. No big deal, because you're still talking about, you know, local range uh, with the extra 6 kilowatt hours pushing uh, well above 300 miles, and that's about what we managed in the 2017. I think the best we ever did was just over 300 miles. So, still going here, halfway point, and we'll just keep plugging away and see what we can get as a final figure. Thirty-six percent, so almost two thirds of the battery gone. Stopped because we have a hundred miles left on the gum. So that makes it nice and easy to see what it's projecting we'll get. With uh, 193 miles almost driven, you're looking at 293 miles on this charge. Is that underselling it a little bit? We've been getting 4.9 miles per kilowatt hour, and then if we come over here. We can see we're almost at 40 kilowatt hours used. A little bit less, but we'll say 40 for the sake of argument. And uh, that leaves 26 kilowatt hours left in the uh, pack. So there's a 27 mile difference there in what the GOM is predicting versus what the efficiency we've been seeing over most of this run. You know, it's been down as low as 4.7, up as high as 5.1, I think we got to at one point. It's got to these kind of 70 to 80 degree temperatures now where we don't really need to use the AC much. So most of it is driving in accessories. Uh, technique is a big thing, that's obviously the speed. The roads around here are 30, 40 miles per hour. This is mostly local errands, so not much else going on in the way of going on the interstate or anything at high speeds. Terrain, we do have a few hills around here so that can uh, pull us down a little bit. 
but nothing significant, nothing major. Outside temperature is right on balance. But for all intents and purposes, this is what you'll get from this car in uh, normal temperatures, nothing too excessively hot, certainly not cold. And uh, yeah, I'm still just kind of watching that gom to see if it catches up with the uh, efficiency at some point, see if it'll start getting more uh, optimistic in the last kind of third to a quarter of the battery, but we'll see. Two kilowatt hours used. We're one mile below EPA range with uh, a good almost one fifth of the battery left. Still holding five miles per kilowatt hour and on for 308 miles if we run it to a stop, maybe more. But obviously, it's calibrated to make sure that you err on the side of caution and don't leave yourself to the last minute. So, last little bit of the test here. Perfect way to do a range test, follow a gas sipping Prius. We're coming into the last 30 miles or so now then, it's almost below 10% and heading to an Electrify America station, 280 miles driven, still more than 30 on the GOM, it's just really stretching out that last 10-15% do five miles and it'll only take off one or two so you can see it being conservative trying to say charge or give you every indication and every opportunity to stop earlier not try and eke out everything unless you're doing one of these tests or trying to push it deliberately 56.2 kilowatt hours used that's about all you'd get, maybe another one kilowatt hour out of the old Bolt 2017 that we would use. You wouldn't get much past that before you really had to stop and it would be flashing low. So we'll see how much we get out of this. Okay, so this is 7% and as you can see, 296 miles. This is where it thought it would give up. When we were at about 50, 40, 50%, it thought this was about as much as we could get, stubbornly hitting 200 miles. And refusing to give us uh, any hope of getting past 300. You can see we still have 23 miles on the GOM here, so we could go a decent way past. Probably going to try and push it past 60 kilowatt hours here, see if we can get past 300, and then uh, extrapolate the rest. I can dismiss the propulsion warning. From my experience with the 2017 bolt, it doesn't diminish that greatly. You just feel a bit of a sluggish pull to it. But we've held five miles per kilowatt hour since ticking up to that with about 15-20% uh, of the battery and it uh, the GOM fell in line with the efficiency average rather than the efficiency average changing suddenly. I mean this GOM might be a little bit uh, more pessimistic than the 2017, um, at least until the final quarter of the battery, 
but uh, yeah. it says you know you're getting five miles per kilowatt hour we're on 60 kilowatt hours here and we've gone over 300 miles so that is you know without charging that is exactly what it said it would do so it's a reliable tool you just have to bear in mind that uh, you know the GOM itself might be a bit pessimistic with the miles it uh, says it will give you into the middle of the pack doesn't always seem to line up with your uh, average efficiency but it may just be erring on the side of caution to say you know plan your stop accordingly So at the end of that, uh, we have managed to do 305 miles out of 60.4 kilowatt hours, 99% uh, driving and accessories and 1% climate settings as you'll see on the overlay. So what do we take away from that? Well the, uh, the GOM was definitely pessimistic uh, in the middle there. We were getting 4.9 to 5 miles per kilowatt hour for uh, all of that latter 50% of the battery. But again, the message is to uh, to trust the efficiency. You know, once you've got this set up with the enhanced view, with your uh, average miles per kilowatt hour on there, if that's telling you um, five miles per kilowatt hour, then you're on for 300 miles on a single charge. It's uh, in the 2020, it's not even gonna be close really. You won't feel that uncomfortable. And uh, that's a solid 300 miles on a charge. You know, we got uh, to 305 comfortably, could have driven a little bit more we did get down to lashing orange and low so obviously you uh, are out of the comfort zone at that point and having to kind of rely on either torque pro to give you an exact percentage or to uh, remember how many miles were on the dash there before it disappears and just starts flashing low and tells you to charge soon we'll enjoy these temperatures while they last because we're going to be plummeting down into 40s and 30s over the next couple of months and that will enable a whole new slew of winter tests so for the moment happy summer enjoy the uh, the rest of whatever you can squeeze from it and prepare because we have those temperatures right around the corner as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one cheers